What's up, Restoration Nation? This is Pastor Steve Harris coming to you with another edition of The Main Point. Well, guys, it's been an interesting Sunday. And, uh, you know, um, this coronavirus thing is out of control. <laughs> A lot of people panicking about stuff, and I get it. You know, uh, it's scary. But I just got to say this. Whether you your church shut down or didn't, you know, whatever. What I want to talk about today is what, and I'm speaking specifically to Christians, what if we were to take the gospel with such importance and spread it like the coronavirus in a good way? Um, it's actually, it depends on who you talk to. Some people believe it's spread by air, which I believe it is, like, you know, achoo, you sneeze. Um, but uh, when we talk to people about Christ and we share it, that is kind of the gospel virus, I would call it. But virus stands for a bad thing. The gospel is good news. But Jesus told us to fulfill the Great Commission. He told the disciples and then he told us to do that same thing, to go tell the people, making them a disciple, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and teaching them all the commands and teachings that he gave them. And so with that, what challenge, um, what's the challenge for you not to? What's the challenge for you not to share the gospel? You know, some things it could be the biggest thing is rejection, uh, arguments, uncomfortableness, if that's a word. There's a whole bunch of things. It's not an easy conversation. The two biggest things that I've been told all my life not to talk about with people is religion and politics. What are the two biggest things that are constantly on the news and everything? Religion and politics. So, having said that, if you're not a Christian, this doesn't pertain to you because you don't know. But if you are a Christian, this definitely pertains to you. It's a commandment. It's a commission. We are supposed to go out and fulfill it. Why are we hiding it? Why are we just going, we're not going to talk about that because we're going to be labeled a hater or a whatever phobe or whatever it is. And my thing is, guys, there are people that are going to leave this earth and they're going to go into a place that is undescribable where there's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And I don't want that on my head. Do you? So let's refocus today. Instead of worrying about panic, instead of worrying about the virus, do your due diligence, wash your hands, you know, have your supplies and so forth. But at the end of the day, you got to go out and know there's a bigger cause than this. God is bigger than the coronavirus, okay? He owns it all. He knows everything. There's nothing where he goes, oh my goodness, there's a virus out there named after a beer. Just kidding. But he knows all that. So why don't we trust him? He knows better than we do. There's also an enemy that wants to create things. And I believe this is of him. And so with that, let's trust the one who can deliver us through it all. So guys, thanks for joining me on this edition. And uh, for more, you can go to rhmillville.org. We also have a YouTube channel, RH Media Network. We have a Vimeo channel now um, for Restoration House. We have other social media like Periscope. Uh, which is part of Twitter. And of course, we have our Restoration House Facebook page. So there's multiple ways to get involved and get connected with us. And so in the meantime, get restored. <laughs>